Hi, picky peoples, it's Haley here. Um, yeah. Hi, picky peoples, it's Haley here. Uh, and we are gonna be talking about my new movie, Bumblebee. You got people out there who need you. There were definitely some difficulties. You know, originally when I read this script, I think because the relationship between this young girl and this robot felt so real on the page, it never really occurred to me as like an issue. I never thought that it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be a challenge and obviously something different than I'd ever done before, but it really wasn't until I was like faced with the tennis ball and the stick and I was told that that's what I was gonna be talking to for the next couple of months. I was like, right, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> I feel so lucky to have been a part of what was an amazing cast and crew. It's uh, it's hard to come across, you know, when you've got such a large group of people working so many hours every single day in very confined spaces. Um, it's uh, it's not easy. So we got very lucky again. Like I said, had some amazing people who all were equally as passionate about this project and this film and the story as as the next person. And I think we, at the end of the day, got to create something we're all very proud of. Bringing you back. On my bucket list uh, and something I've always dreamed of to have a song of my own and a movie of my own and this is a song particularly that I feel very close to. Uh, it wasn't until I saw the film for the first time that Back to Life, it wasn't until the movie was in post-production that they reached out to me again and said let's do it and came to life. So, yeah. Hey everybody out there, I'm John Cena. I played Jack Burns in the new movie Bumblebee. Go see it. Uh, fighting Transformers is tough. Finally, I'm put in an action element where my opponent's skill far exceeds me. So all of the action based in Bumblebee around my character involves giant military support. But I don't really much stand a chance when I'm one with Bumblebee. <laughs> BTS, Nanen Kunde Da. Well, first of all, BTS, uh, I love you guys for the message you send. I think it's amazing that you can transcend geography and teach a wonderful lesson to people all across the world. That's what I admire about you the most. So knowing you guys and you have confidence in yourself and you're obviously entertainers, what do you do when the lights go out? What do you do when you want to be entertained? Go see Bumblebee. You'll cry, you'll laugh, you'll smile, you'll get angry, but you'll leave happy. Go see Bumblebee. Everyone's opinion is valuable. If you can find a takeaway from it, if you can call this or that your life's work, that means you've done something well for a long period of time. So I, I admire anyone who calls this their life's work. Thank you. Thank you. He's a beloved character. I mean, there are very few characters in the whole pantheon of, of Transformers that people love more than Bumblebee. And it makes sense to me because I did too. And I think it really, in every iteration of Transformers, be it the cartoons or the comics or, or the live action films, he's always been the one Transformer who had the greatest connection with people. Things come to be. And how did he become the Bumblebee that we know and love? And this film offered us an opportunity to explore it and get an answer to that question. You know, there's a lot of great stuff. Like we, you know, we have some great uh, battles. We have some great chase scenes. But for me, the thing that was the most fun to bring to life, Fall of Cybertron, really for the first time on the big screen, it was inspired by the animated series the, with Wheeljack and Optimus and Soundwave and all these characters. And I wanted to bring them to life. You know, the, the Cybertron of my imagination, those characters that I have known and, and loved for over 30 years, I wanted to see them on the big screen. So you know, exciting and evocative of those, those moments of the, the animated series. <laughs> I've been fortunate that I've been working with Steven off and on probably since uh, 25 years, 26 years. Uh, he is a man who has tremendous numbers of ideas and there's so many precious ones in them. It's actually sometimes hard to pick which one should fit into the movie. Well, we're, the whole movie is much more of the Gen 1, Generation 1 look of Transformers. That not only includes the look, but the number of parts, we've made them less and we've changed how they transform. So you can actually watch the parts a little bit more than you could before. And, you know, transformations in all the Transformers movies have been great. We thought we'd do a different one this time.
lose yourself in this story because it's just an amazing story. It's visually stunning. There's so much heart and emotion and a lot to be affected by. High octane action sequences, great adventure, special effects, spectacle, you know, robot fights, speed chases. But I also want to bring a different layer of this really kind of some humor and some heart and some tenderness. You know, I think we've seen him be fun, we've seen him be tough, but we've never seen him be as emotional as this. As a moviegoer, enjoy it for however you want. There's so much in this movie that you can take away from. I'll let moviegoers like it for whatever reason they want to. Korea, thank you so much. My finger heart. I know, I've heard, yes. Yay. Goodbye, picky peoples. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my movie. <laughs>